Hi everyone, my name is Shay. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Mine has been super duper awesome. I got some comic books yesterday. I got Amazing Spider-Man 265, Brave and the Bold 60, and a whole bunch of other back issues that I'll be posting on my Twitter and on my Instagram feed. In case you guys are wondering what kind of comics I got, you can follow me over there. Speaking of comics, I want to talk to you guys today about a comic I read. It's called Pretty Deadly by Kelly Sue DeConnick, Emma Rios, and Jordi Belair. Here it is. This is the first volume of Pretty Deadly. I normally don't get trade. I normally get the single issues. So I got the single issues for Pretty Deadly and I love the story so much that I decided to get the trade as well. So here are some fast facts about Pretty Deadly. Pretty Deadly was published by Image Comics in 2013. Kelly Sudaconic is the writer for Pretty Deadly and she's also the writer for other comics such as Captain Marvel and Bitch Planet. These are my Captain Marvel copies. Deconic worked with Emma Rios who penciled in and inked the illustrations and also Jordi Belair who was the colorist for Pretty Deadly. Pretty Deadly was also nominated for Best Cover Artist, Best Colorist, Best Writer, and Best Inker in 2014. So that's pretty much the backstory of Pretty Deadly and its creators. So now let's dive into Pretty Deadly and what it's all about. Pretty Deadly opens up in the wild desert and we get to meet Bunny and Butterfly who become our wildlife narrators as they tell us the story about Fox and Sissy. Immediately the story has grabbed and held my attention as I got to follow these two characters, Sissy and Fox, as they embark on this strange and mysterious journey. So you might be wondering who are these two characters, Sissy and Fox? Sissy and Fox are very mysterious characters. They both kind of remind me of gypsies or troubadours who go around traveling in different towns performing and telling stories. What's interesting about these two characters are their unique distinct features. Fox is this old blind man and Sissy is this young girl who has two different sets of colored eyes. One's blue and one's brown and she also wears a vulture headdress. This crucial detail about their eyes foreshadows something that I would have seen in a Greek or Shakespearean tragedy. Speaking of tragedy, in the story Fox and Sissy visit this town and they tell us the story about this young woman who gets captured by the mayor because he doesn't want covetous men looking at her because she's so beautiful. So the mayor locks her up in this tower and she becomes so depressed that she attempts suicide and that's where death meets her and death actually falls in love with her. And that's where the story takes off from there. I'm not going to reveal anything else for you guys because of spoilers and I want you guys to read it for yourself. But having said that, I very much enjoyed this comic book. You can definitely see the meta storytelling come into play and I definitely like the fairy tale and the folklore influences. Essentially, Pretty Deadly is a very dark, depressing, tragic story that circulates around this whole idea of myth and legends. I'd recommend Pretty Deadly to anybody who likes the weird, wild western setting mixed with gothic and fantastical elements. You definitely need to suspend your disbelief in order to fully immerse yourself into the storyline to grasp its full effect. It has vengeance, it has power, it has secrets, it has everything you want to need in a comic book. So those are my thoughts and my review on Pretty Deadly. The creators are actually revamping this and they're continuing with the series so you definitely should go check that out. If you want to learn more about the creators or Pretty Deadly I'm going to put their website and their Twitter in the description below and if you like my comic book review of Pretty Deadly give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more comic book corner goodness. Bye!